Hello friends, this is again Anil Bhatt from Blogline and we represent an awesome service that is Ask an SEO Expert service. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic about the sitemaps for e-commerce websites and we are going to discuss the most important topic about the XML sitemaps or else the XHTML sitemaps. How you should build your sitemaps for e-commerce website. First of all, I would like to know that <coughs> the XML sitemaps. That XML sitemaps is really very important tool or we can say that it is the best user experience that you can add plenty of pages for particular XML sitemaps and it will be a good user engagement as well. So in XML sitemaps if you have a 100 pages or less than uh, or less than that pages for your website then there should be no necessity to build an XML sitemaps. But if you have any one XML sitemaps or XHTML sitemaps, then there is no harming one as well. But if you have a pages of 1000 pages or more than that, and the content should be regularly updated, there is no static pages for your website, then that is definitely going to build the XML sitemaps. In XML sitemaps, according to Google Files for sitemaps, you can build a 50,000 files, yes, a 50,000 files for each sitemaps. And I think almost it covers the all website over, over the world. So, today we are going to discuss the, some points, most important points we can say that in the XML sitemaps. The multiple sitemaps, yes. In the multiple sitemaps, I would say that for example, if you have one leg pages for your websites and if you build a sitemaps for your e-commerce website then you can add only 10, 10 files for the 10,000 files each and add it to the webmaster tool. So it will be very easy to build an XML sitemaps. Let's start with the second point that the inclusion of most important pages and there are the four points as you can show that the category pages, the subcategory pages, boilerplates and blog. These are the four most important points that you can build on your e-commerce website. Let's start with the first point that is the category pages. In the category pages, you can add the categories if, uh, like if you have a website of the some fashion pages, right? Or uh, we can say that if you have a website of some shoes and all these things, then you can add the categories of so fashion related categories like uh, uh, jewelry, like clothes, uh, like etc. This kind of examples you can add in the categories example. Subcategory pages. In the subcategory pages, there are so many different channels you can add in the subcategory pages. Like you can add in the category like uh, clothes. Then in the subcategory you can add the men clothes, the women clothes, the girls clothes, the children clothes, summer wear clothes, winter clothes. Those kind of subcategory pages you can add in XML sitemaps. Third, boilerplates. In boilerplates, you can add <coughs> the information about contact us, about us, those kind of information that the user is easily going to contact you and easily reach your e-commerce website through the XML sitemaps. And last, it's blog. In your blog pages, you can add the author pages, the template pages, and many informations about your articles to your e-commerce website. So, these are the most important points for eXML sitemap that you should build in your e-commerce website. Let's start other with the XHTML sitemap. First, first of all, I would like to say that XHTML sitemaps is really a user engagement experience, a good user engagement experience. We can say that it is the old school landing page that every user reach your e-commerce website. Let's start with the first, that is structure. In XHTML sitemaps, you can add the proper structure with a good hierarchy of structure. Because if you don't have a good structure for your e-commerce website, then user might be going to be destroyed with your information. So in XHTML sitemaps is really very good user experience for better structure. Second, optimized anchor text. <clears throat> this is the most important point that optimized anchor text because 
the keyword optimized anchor text is really very useful for users and it is definitely help to increase your page rank and the authority as well a good keyword optimized anchor text is definitely it's going to be a good e-commerce website become very 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 popular for your users according to your users third video site map if you have a video hosting sites video hosting services in your site then you will definitely going for a video site maps and you are going to be develop the video site maps in your xhtml site maps and fourth static pages the xhtml site maps they have the static pages rather than they have the image or flash pages so you can build the static pages for your xhtml site maps so these are the most important points for your xml site maps or xhtml site maps now I think this info, all information you should build in your e-commerce website and this information will definitely going to help you. If you have any query then you can ask us at blogpoint.com. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.